one, one, two, two, one, two. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Positive. Okay. Hey, you guys. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. What's I up, am people? Miami. I am Shayla. And this is Brains and Beauty times nice. two. <laughs> so today we are about to review season two, episode one of <sighs> Monogamy. Monogamy. <laughs> Craig Jr. Craig, Craig Ross, Ross Jr.'s Monogamy. Season 2, Episode 1, Monogamy. Man, oh man. So let's just go ahead and start oh, off about our emotions right now. Ending okay, the wait, episode. Wait, wait. Uh, wait, okay, just, wait. Just the emotion. Just the emotion. Okay, just, just the emotion. emotion. Okay. The emotion I'm feeling right now. Hot. Okay. I am mad. Maggie. <laughs> okay, before we... Okay. We just said emotion. <laughs> Emotion. Just emotion. Just emotion. I am upset. I, I'm, I'm hot. I'm Maggie. hot. I ain't just mad. I'm hot. Girl, y'all know how I feel about cars, so honey, I don't have time for Ooh. this madness. But anyway, okay. <laughs> when we say emotion, we didn't say we didn't say review. Okay. okay. Maggie. Girl, I'll be doing girl. Uh, okay, okay, hold on. Okay, okay, okay. We, we, okay, so so we're gonna start over. There we go. There we go. We we gotta we gotta start from the beginning because if you have not watched this, you guys have to know where to go watch it at first, right? Yeah. All right, all right, all right. Okay, let's, I'm, let's, I'm, I'm we, upset, we gonna let so we, we gonna let her get to her point. But we're gonna Maggie. go ahead and let y'all know how to find this first. Okay. So if you have not seen it, it is on on um the Urban Movie Channel, yes, which you UMC. can find online uh at www.watchumc.com. And they have just a lot of Is it um, Watch urban, UMC? Watch UMC, oh. yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And Basically, you can do a seven-day free trial yes. for anyone who's skeptical, doesn't really know if that's something they want to invest in. Um, but if you love black movies, urban movies, just, all of that yeah. is on there. Urban shows, It's not whatever. just this one show. It's a lot of shows. It's a lot of shows. shows. It's, it's a lot of movies. movies. Yeah. Old movies, new movies. Yes. And if you want to binge watch season one, go ahead and binge watch, watch it under your free trial. Amen. Get yes. That's what we did. One. Yes. <laughs> And if you start today, I don't know when you're starting, but today is tomorrow's episode two. So tomorrow's episode two. You have yes. you get to watch all the episodes one mm-hmm. through six from season one. Yes. You got to, you get to watch season two, episode one, and season two, episode two, which is tomorrow. So that's seven things for still within seven days. That's kind tomorrow, of tomorrow, Thursday, yeah. November twenty first. So this weekend, y'all can binge watch for free ski. <sighs> But then you still have four more weeks to go, and then hopefully you get clicked and hooked on it, and you would just keep your um, subscription. Yes. Yeah. And the subscription is only four ninety nine, dollars guys. Yeah. Like, come on now. Y'all spend that every day on foolishness that you really don't even need. So Starbucks coffee. You know. But anyway, <laughs> we're going to head and move on into the review. Oh, my God. We're going to get into this, get it done, get it in, and get it out. Okay. Okay. Maggie. Oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I was going to give a synopsis of what happened in the first I know. Season. I just wanted to say her name because, girl. Okay. Oh, good. Maggie, she, yeah, you see how hot she is? I'm hot with you, Maggie. I am. But she is hot with you. People around here praying for these Carsons, honey. You around here messing up with these Carsons. And people out here praying to the Lord, like, Lord, send me a Carson. And you got you a Carson, honey. You oh, even... my God. Girl. So oh. let's just jump into the last. Okay. So the part ending of, of la- one. Yes. Season one, episode six. Okay, we left off with everyone going back to their 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 spouses. Yeah. And everyone's obviously in a very weird place. They don't yes, really they know are. how to act. They they're confused. They're telling, and they're having, they're telling on themselves. They're telling on themselves. They did, exactly. What they did not do what they did not do. Yes, because some of them Maggie. kept they cl- they legs closed and some of them kept they emotions to themselves, even though, you know, they were tempted. You know, Lord knows that a lot of them everybody in the house, everybody was tempted. Everybody. But Carson you know, he kept his vows, Maggie. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Go ahead. I'm sorry, Max. He gonna do this all. She gonna say this all the review. Okay. I'm, I'm sorry, but okay. So, it, so we it, moved on from that. And then at the end of episode six, season one, they had a decision. So everybody was split up mm-hmm. and they had they have a decision. Either if you if both parties choose to leave, y'all choose to divorce everything Everybody. y'all lose everything yeah everything so all of your assets, assets are are gone and they're given to charity including the money you won by joining the experiment so everybody has so to start over let's just let's just start right there for those okay. who are just seeing this okay when they did this whole experiment these couples were in a whole situation there yes. there was in a bad situation with their husbands with their wives with their marriage right yeah so they did this they did this experiment they put all of their assets 
on the line to see if they could come out of this and be back in love how they used to be. Yes. Right? So Shayla just said that both of them agreed to divorce after this experiment happened. Their experiment experiment was yes. they went into this house. They exchanged couples. Mm-hmm. So the wife was with somebody else. The husband was with somebody else. And these other people, which was like the big brother over the house, they chose those other people for them. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. So everybody put everything on the, on the line. So this last episode that we're talking about, they had to determine what are all the money, all the assets, all the price. They got a prize for this too. Mm. So what Shayla just said, they lost everything, which mm. means they lost all of their assets. If both everything. of them agreed to divorce. Everything. So... All your money, all your money, all your property, whatever. Second option. If you were to one person was choose chose to divorce, the other person chose to stay. The person who chose to divorce got everything. Everything. Now, mind you, now you would think that would would be that I I had to play that back because I was like, hold on, that don't make no sense. But really, it does make sense. I mean, it doesn't make sense, but it does make make sense sense for the experiment because you're, they're trying, I think, honestly... Well, let's, let's go down the line. Okay. Let's okay. go down the line. I'm giving the synopsis. Okay, there you so go. So, the second option was whoever said divorce, they take everything, and the other person who said, oh, stay, they didn't get nothing. They got nothing. But nobody knows The divorce gets everything. Yeah, and nobody didn't know who was going to say what until the lady, the other person revealed who was over the whole experiment. Yes. What was the third option? The third option, if you both chose to stay in your marriage, then you all get triple... Your, your assets, assets. And, and triple, the, and prize. triple the, the prize which is the ex, the experiment money that you got mm. from just doing the experiment obviously it was a hefty amount in order for them to even join this because again the whole point of the experiment and yeah. for, for all of these items being on the line is for you to understand how serious your marriage is. is and how big and how of a decision yeah. this is that it's not to be taken lightly and that was the whole purpose of them putting all this weight on their decision um, oh, so I understood the decision. That's why I said I understood the decision of them saying the divorcee would get everything. Because now it's tempting you. Like, oh, I'm really not getting what I want from my partner. And I could walk out of this fine. Especially if I know that he's, that him or, that she, he or she is going to leave. I well, could walk out case, of this, yeah. I could walk out of this good. Yeah. So it puts, a, it puts more pressure on, I don't, especially on someone who, Obviously, they put more weight on their on their belongings and stuff. It puts more pressure on that person. Yeah, because I care about that. And uh, and a couple of none of the the couples were were bad off or anything, but there were a couple that were very well off. And so that would that would have been an important thing for them. And, and you'll learn that in our review who that yeah. was. So we're gonna go ahead and start the review, okay? <laughs> because Maggie. I want to get into Maggie, <laughs> Peggy, Maggie. She sound like Byron. <laughs> Maggie, Maggie. Oh, Lord. Okay, so what couple we saw? So we're going we're gonna, to we're go ahead and start with uh, Craig. Craig, Maggie, and Carson for the ends because. Yes, we're going to leave them to the end because. Oh, Carson. See, Woo! this is why. We got to get know, our notes, honey. Mm. Outside of the reality world, you know, Carson, if you was real. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna start with um the other people. Uh, whoever. Oh, oh, okay, so um, who the other people? DeAndre and Co- and Connor. Okay, so DeAndre and Carson. So DeAndre is played by Christy Ferris, and Connor is played by Darius McCrary, who, who you guys know Eddie, from the, Eddie Winslow. The, yes, there you go. Yeah, that's all I know. Yes. Eddie Winslow. Mm-hmm. So they were married for one year. Okay. They're married one year. Mm-hmm. Um, she actually, her mother died when she was young. Oh, speaking of this scene. Okay, uh, first of all, uh, I lost my mom. It seemed like the same age this character was. And when she was in this hospital, it gave me a big flashback because I lost my mom the same way she was in the hospital. Um, mm-hmm. This looked like maybe this mom probably would have had cancer. My mom had a mixture. She was diagnosed with HIV in 1989. And then she was in the hospital because of a liver cancer along with kidney failure. Okay. So I lost my mom within like six weeks of her admitting herself into the hospital. Mm -hmm. So that scene was, I teared up like seriously, I had tissue. So I just wanted to just say that that was, that was dope. Okay. That was a touching scene. I don't know how y'all put that together. It was very believable. It was very believable. Yeah, it was. Your mom leave you something. I had a whole situation that happened after that. So it really touched me even more because I had a family member. My mom passed away. There was some monies involved and I'm not going to get into that, but it was not a good thing. Okay. Mm. So Mm. anyway, so that was a very, 
That was a touching thing scene. Thing. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it really was. So her mother died when she was thirteen, and but left her millions. Yeah. And now her now husband, uh, Connor, is now he he actually. He did not live a so honorable. His, his lifestyle yeah. was not so honorable. He, he obviously was, came he up. He was a city boy. Yeah, he, and he you know okay. he did things that were not yeah. things she was used to. Yeah. Um. And, and but she married him that. anyway. And he tried to change his life around, but, but she, she has not been able up. to move past his yeah. past. Yeah. So, okay. So what happened to them? Who left and who stayed? So Eddie Winslow, <laughs> Connor. He said, I'm out. And why did he say he was out? Be, I forgot what he said he was out because I was just so, first of all, I was still, you know, I was still crying. So, I know, I know. so <laughs> I know. when he was out, um, I think he said he was just tired of, tired of um, being, the, of, being her, um, of her, like, assuming something like yes, that. Because she was yeah. like, hey, you go again. He was like, oh, I'm always going to be that anyway. So I might as well just go ahead and take all the millions, honey. Well, he didn't say that, but in my words. So that's what you money. think. That's what you. That's what you thought. Felt he was trying to say with that. That's how I felt. I felt okay. he said, "You're always talking down to me. You're always saying I'm failing you. You're always saying I'm hurting you. You're always saying all of these things." But you know what? Fine, I'll be that today. Give me my money. Oh, no, I didn't. Okay, I, I didn't mean, get that. So I didn't get that so from that. Words. Okay, all right. And obviously, she chose to stay. So she was shocked yeah, to say the less because they. She thought you know that they were. I would say when they came back to the house, those two were the were the two who didn't talk the most. I think they weren't being they still weren't really ready to hear the truth yeah. from the other person. Yeah. And right before they had to make the decision is when they kind of opened up a little more, but they weren't able to finish the conversation yeah. because they had to go downstairs and hurry up and make the decision. decision. Um but I think he felt because you know, you, you already admitted you had feelings for the guy that you slept with. Yeah. I didn't sleep with the person with my with my with my you know swap wife. I didn't sleep with her. You slept but with yours. His swap wife was a very emotional tie. Yes, they did. They did. The they had a very wife, yes, yes. They had a very strong emotional tie to me, which yes. a lot of times can be worse. Yeah. Than the actual because sexual that woman act- opened up, yeah. opened him up and told him, "You're you're you're okay the way you are." You should be celebrating you should yourself celebrate, more. Yeah. You should not celebrate the changes down. in your life. Yeah. No matter how small it is, you should be your your wife should be celebrating you. And matter of fact, you should be celebrating yourself. You know what I mean? Yeah. And his wife never told him that because again, she had everything. So she was yeah. like, You need you need to match it was up always, to my fly. Like, exactly. You're not it was doing always enough. how much more he yeah. could do. Yeah. Cause he cause he, like he it was never enough. enough. Yeah. 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 So he got more than enough, honey, because he, so, he took that money, honey. So he now the money. he gets everything. Yeah. She basically, in the end, basically told him like, "I can't believe, like, I can't believe you, like, I really can't believe you because I feel like you planned this all along. I worked so hard my for style. my lifestyle and and all this, and all you all you were willing to just give up." on us and he's like well I already felt like you gave up yeah because you, you felt you, you slept with buddy we made a we made an agreement between each other to stay together yeah and uh, and, and to not sleep with, with with anybody we had already made an agreement to keep our vows you broke that not only did you break that now you have feelings for this man and you're telling me that I'm wrong for and saying I, I knew yeah I should have known that you wanted to stay no I didn't knew. know nothing yeah you can't assume nothing like I don't like those that's one thing I don't like doing in my real life I don't like to assume anything I shouldn't don't leave me in no place to assume anything anyway yeah amen amen so Period. I felt him yeah even though I, I understood where she was I coming from I felt I felt her too but I felt what he was saying and why he yeah. felt like you know well I should just I don't think that his his end game was I'm just trying to get the money. Yeah. I don't think that was it. I think he truly no, felt she no longer wanted to be married. They got approached out of the blue anyway. So yeah. he didn't have this whole scheme like, oh my God, yeah. in a year the one year anniversary we're gonna have this whole thing and we're gonna put the money on the line and I'm gonna just end. You know yeah. what I mean? Like yeah. that chunk wasn't playing like that. But I think she just hurt because again, that chunk of that money came from her mom and I understand how that yeah. feels when yeah. somebody get that money that was, that was meant from that, that your that was mother who is not here no more and it's yeah. part of your mom. Like that's hurtful. Trust me. I know firsthand. So um, and I didn't even have, had an ch- opportunity to get no millions. Okay, it was not even that much, and it, it hurt. So, um, anyway, moving on to another okay, couple. So moving on from them, 
Caroline and Sawyer. Okay, so Caroline is played by Vanessa uh, Simmons, who we all know Rev Run's daughter. Yes. And um, Sawyer is, is the, the actor Blue Kimball. Okay? Mm-hmm. So those two... He, I he, saw he, your face in hell. That's what he said. What he said. Like, <laughs> Something like that. That's wrong. That's his, wrong. His, his scene was funny. That he had I love a, that he part. Had okay, part so I'm going to saw your face in hell. Um, so they both... They both actually chose to divorce. Yeah. Um, but, but, now, they were happy. It seemed like they were both happy and, or knew that they were going to do it. Yeah. And so they seemed excited, but as soon as they left the decision, she kind of flipped it on him and yeah, said like, that. Yeah, wait a minute. Uh, yeah, yeah. Hold on now. Oh, yeah. Wait, wait, hold up. <laughs> I was like, she rethinking. That's cool, but I done lost everything. I done put more money on the table than you. You, you probably put yeah. 50 cent. I done put a million. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah, you're happy. You're laughing because you get to start over from scratch from a little writer. And but now... I have to start yeah, all the start way all, over. I done lost everything and I'm still this wrestler girl or whatever and I still have this lifestyle probably I done built up and created and now it's gone because yeah. I done put my stuff on the side for you, Mr. Happy Go Lucky, to go be a writer yeah, because he basically that decided anyway. that he wanted to change. His, yeah. He no longer he wanted, wanted to be a fighter. He wanted to go after his passion. He yeah, wanted to live the life he wanted to live. And, and he's, that's dope. he's been basically living a lie. And yeah. his, But at the same time, she's also been living a lie because, yeah, because she likes swimming. Girls. She she she's a girl. She's like confused her. on what on what she wants. She doesn't yeah. know if she wanted to be married or if she really wanted to be with women. Yeah. So they both had issues with not being honest with each other and covering up their true intentions um and and it's not to say that he didn't love boxing but he no longer had the passion for it as 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 she did as she did and, and i liked how yeah. he came out and said that he said yeah. you know what he 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 could have said anything else but he said you know what? i just don't have the drive like you have i don't i don't love it as much as you, you do. do yeah and that was being real because and, some men yeah. can say that they'll go ahead and make any other excuses on why this that, and that. he was just like i just don't I don't have a love for it like you do. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, that's it. But and instead, he always to... felt like she was trying to... They were always both so competitive, competing. competing. But at the same time, he was always competing back with her because she, he always felt like she was trying to show him where, what he's not doing. What he's not doing and what he, what he could be better at. And what, he, what she really didn't understand is that he just... Didn't, didn't want like to do that more. anymore. Yeah. But he couldn't be honest with her. He felt he couldn't be honest with her because of how she would take it and exactly actually how she how, took it, how she took she it is, exactly is what he was afraid of. So, yeah. So, that they was a little sad. It yeah. was. It really was because, again, when you... I'm at a phase in my life, too, and I'm trying to pursue passions, and it really is hard to find... If you don't have a significant other or something like that, you want your family to support your passions, right? No matter how yeah. crazy it may sound. Like, what are you doing? You want to quit what? You want to do what? <laughs> like, they don't even make money right now. Like, what are you doing? You know what yeah. I mean? But when you have something in your heart and it's on your heart and, and that's what you want to do and you see yourself doing it and God has planted a vision in your life, like, why not go after it? You know yes. what I mean? But it's hard because you have all of these expectations from people who think what you should be doing. Mm. You know what I mean? And it mm. hurts at the end of the day to know that you done told all of these people yeah. what you want to do. And then the person that they the put one him person. with yeah. who took off her scarf, you yeah. know what I mean? Is the one who, who said you should. Put, who was pushing him to really pursue yeah. his dream. So he had, what's her name? Um, Maggie. He had Ma- So Maggie was all for this little writer, but went for Carson. Girl, what is wrong with you? But anyway, okay. <laughs> So Maggie pushed <laughs> Sawyer to be a writer. And I thought that was cool because his wife wasn't open to no pa- passions. No, honey. No, no, no. We're, we're, we're wrestlers. We don't No, do we're that. boxers. I mean, boxers. Yeah. We don't do that. You need to be. You need to be focused on things yeah. that you've been working on all be, these years. Yeah, you need to be. We're not John starting Cena. over. Yeah. yeah, you need to be John Cena. I need to be one of the Bella Twins. Like, period. Oh. We're not nobody else. Yeah, that's so that's how yeah. I felt. But that's sad. basically what it was. But that that was that was sad. But yeah. it was just funny to see it flip so quickly when they left that room after that decision. She was like, laughing. "Hold on, like, like, like cool. I think you almost yeah, did this on purpose." Yeah, because she had more. And he was like, "You know, I don't. I I think you crazy. Because didn't you just divorce me too? Exactly. I had just as equally much to lose as you. Yeah. So." All right, so moving Move on, on from to the them. Next couple. Yeah. Okay. Sincere in Dallas, crazy self. Okay, so Sincere is. I won't um, date anybody like Dallas. Oh my God, I won't dare in my life. Like, I won't even go on a date with nobody like that. Like, I will leave the date okay, table. Okay, okay. Well, go ahead. 
<laughs> She'll lead a date table. Okay. So I ain't walking to bread, girl. I'm out. Oh, no. Okay. So, so, oh, that's that fake phone call. Girl, what? You had an emergency? That's what you had one of them? Okay. Oh, I got this text. Oh, I gotta go. go. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, okay. Sincere is played by uh, Karen Ward Ross, which is also the wife of Mr. Craig Ross Jr. and, yes. and also the executive producer of the show Monogamy. Yes, so ma'am. y'all make sure y'all pay attention to her. That's okay. And uh, Dallas is Brian J. White. He plays. Okay. He plays so many movies. He plays oh so many movies. Yeah. Don't make no sense. Okay. But um. Well, anyway, they've been married for seven yeah. years, and okay, so. He's a he's a what well, he's a cop yeah. or a detective. He's a homicide detective, and obviously she's an ex uh, um, addict. Addict, yeah. yeah. She's an ex addict who obviously had overcome that, but he helped her. But he kind of comes he off as put the it over her head. yeah captain like, I save. You. Uh, Don't forget, I yeah. helped you. Don't forget. Yeah. And she like like Ellie Winslow. Yeah, I needed I help then, that. but I'm over that now. Yeah, I'm trying to go here. You're trying to put me back. And matter of fact, now you feel like a little man now because you helped somebody who was in distress. As if what now? So now you now you now I don't need your help. Now you don't feel like a man anymore. Now the swap, their swap like that. was between Eddie Winslow, Eddie Winslow, and or well, not Eddie. I don't want to call him Eddie. What who was it? I'm trying to flag you. Do it like this. <laughs> Okay. Okay. So their that their swap partners were were Connie and Deandra. Okay. Yeah. Those were the their swap team. Okay. So sincere, which is the wife, chose to stay. Yeah. And Dallas, he chose, chose to, to leave go. because she his, his was, life was fulfilled. Yeah. shocked. Because they had literally not. I think they were probably no. They weren't the most shocking. They were no, the second were, most shocking. Girl, they don't know who the most shocking <laughs> yeah, is. They were the second most shocking because I would say that, and only because they had just had a conversation about how they felt. And I think like they shared their feelings more than any of the other couples. I mean, initially, like really, just let each other know how they truly, truly felt, even if it hurt. To say it, however they would say it, they yeah. you know they really let each other know. But right before he made, she made it very clear she was gonna stay yeah. in their marriage because she wants to work it out. The whole point of the experiment was for them to learn to find out what are the missing pieces in yeah. each other and what is it that is not being fulfilled, and so we could see each other as a whole person and now decide. Do we really want to continue our relationship yeah. after you see what I am once I've been fully poured into yeah. the way I need to be? Like she said, you see how I am whole. I see how you well, are whole yeah. as a person without each other. Because who are we without each other? Is if as if when she to me, I felt like after she came from the attic life, yeah. she didn't have enough time by yes. herself yeah. to live that life for herself and figure mm-hmm. out who she is without being an addict mm-hmm. you know what i mean and with him he didn't have enough time i don't know what was before him but i feel like he didn't have enough time either to realize who he is without his title mr mr captain save of the city you know what i mean mm-hmm. so i think he just have a problem men with all them type of titles they always have a problem with separating themselves from the title of who they the are yeah and the person of who they are yeah and that sucks because you can't play detective or whatever you're little title is in my marriage because I married the guy didn't marry the title because if that title goes tomorrow who are you if your legs fall off if your arms fall off who are you without the title because your title needs your legs and your arms but who would you be so she tried to say who are we holding? We, fine that we got to go me. see. Yeah. yeah, we got to go see who we are by ourselves. Yeah, you know what now I mean. Now that you see me as a whole person. Yeah, and and I thought that was that was and important I, to say. Yeah, before yeah. making a decision. But he did not get he that. Yeah, he no, he seemed like he got it at first, but yeah. obviously he didn't because he still chose to leave. And yeah. she was absolutely shocked. He's like, no, 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 no. I'm going to, you know, I, you, I'll always be here for you. And she had a flashback of when she, you know, was was basically feeding, and she was at her father's house yep. and he was just telling her baby I can't I can't help you I can't give you any money like this I help you as much as I can but I can't give you money to feed this habit and that flashback of I'll always be here for you I, I always thought I thought that was a questionable flashback to have in that moment mm-hmm. um not me because it was kind of like why would you choose that moment to think that but but for me th- this is why this is why the flashback came her dad in that moment 
was a supporter of her habit up to that up to that point, right? Mm-hmm. Her husband, in up to a certain moment, was her go to person as well. Mm-hmm. I think she was the one in her marriage, just like her dad. She was the one at one point that had to cease having somebody be there to pull her up and keep her up. Yeah. So it had to flash back to her dad because that was a big moment in there. That was like a turning point. It was a turning point between her dad because her dad probably was always there giving her stuff and he always just let her be that. And this was the moment where he said no, I can't. He said no more. I cannot feed it no more. You know what I mean? And I think it was a perfect moment because it was the same exact thing but her husband. Okay. You know what I mean? Okay. And he said the same thing. I'll always be here for you. i always love and you. And she but. was like, no. No, because it shouldn't be no but. It shouldn't be no but because now you're my husband, right? Yeah, her mind. She said, I don't no. care. I hate you. I absolutely hate you. Yeah. And, and I, it hurt him to hear her even say that because he doesn't hate her. He actually, so he, he said, I loved, I loved, you know, I loved you. And she's like, wow, we're already at past tense. Yeah, love and I, that was that was that was very hurtful. Yeah, because because as a person, yeah, who de- who depended on somebody, and you you're, and you didn't keep your vow. He didn't he was keep the his one that vow. Did. She kept her vow during the entire experiment. She didn't do anything. She didn't step further than she than she was supposed to out of the out of the vows of her marriage. But he did, I, and yet you're holding her saying she had feelings. It was more, again, he didn't feel like a man anymore with her anyway because she didn't because he need couldn't be, help anymore. Because he couldn't be the provider and protector. Yeah, she wanted to be... She wanted to be free. Yeah, from that. She wanted that. to be her own woman. Yeah. But now he done took all the money. And I really pray for this lady, like, for real, because I don't know what's going to happen. Because now she has nothing. By season two and season three. I mean, episode two and three, because she may go back to that. And I'm not, I not really saying hope, she... I really hope she She might have been to zero, bro. She has nothing that can break her. And I hope it doesn't break her. I, hope I she's truly hope strong, it doesn't either. But at least she has her dad. I'm thinking I wonder about her if her dad and right Connor now. end up together. Girl, we're not Connor. Oh, okay, okay. Connor got money now. Yeah, Connor do got money. So let's just let's let, okay. Saying. Before we talk about who got money, who got okay. what, let me just go ahead and end the couples. <laughs> Okay, with the couple I've All been right, to the talk couple about. we've been waiting to talk about. Okay, because this is the couple we watch. Okay, this is the couple we've been watching. Man, man, man. Let me tell you something, Maggie. Maggie and Carson. Now, Maggie, Maggie. is played by Jill Marie Jones, guys. Let me make sure this is on there. Hold on. Let me make sure this is on there so she can hear me. Oh, God. Okay. Let me make sure because I think it's not clear enough. <laughs> So I just, just want to make sure it's zoomed in and clear. But Maggie and okay. Maggie and Carson. All right, Maggie. Let me oh my God. This man, mm, you done mm, told mm. this man he could possibly just... be the daddy. His wait, heart... wait, wait. What? He could be Oh yeah, yes, you did tell him that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah he could possibly be the daddy. Well no, you told him you're pregnant. He was so excited. Yeah. And then didn't realize in that moment, oh my God. I not by know. me it could be from it another, could be from the other guy yeah because she told me she slept with somebody else and i just told her i didn't sleep with anybody just because i'm a great husband in this whole little fill of little husbands in this stupid little house and i was the one who kept the vows okay i didn't sleep with no lady i wasn't well he was close but he didn't do nothing because he's a great husband and you gonna yes, sit he was here to, he, and he, you're he, gonna sit here let me just get to it <laughs> you're gonna sit here and divorce this man because this what? man i'm sorry girl Okay, let let me okay, let me just say what they chose first, then let her get into her rant, okay? Maggie decided to okay, Carson, <laughs> even after finding that out in that very moment. Now he had to give his answer. Now imagine you are sitting here in front of a camera and the camera says, What That's do you it. choose? Yeah. Are you staying or leaving? And your wife just told you that she is pregnant and you do not know if the child is yours so you're replaying that in your mind and his his flashback was of when they were having the conversation and she had a Girl. child that they obviously they lost two years prior um to to this experiment or whatever but Despite he was that. going back to that in his mind of a happier time and then right after that he chose to stay and what did she choose he chose to say you know this is why carson is like the guy for this show carson, because I, let me tell I you felt something for you, boo. Ooh, Carson I still felt said, so bad. I'm finna stay because there's a 50 50 chance that and I can save my marriage, that this is another baby for us. And yes, yeah, she slept with this man. And yes, yeah, she was pregnant. willing to stay. And yes, yeah, she's pregnant. And yes, it could be mine. And maybe it's not mine. But I'm gonna say yes and try to figure this out because I love my wife. We're not perfect. We're gonna get through this. And, and you're gonna see He didn't have sex either. 
You know what I'm she saying? She did. Yes, she did. With the little rider guy. Yes. The little... With, with, uh, with, um, was it Sawyer? Sawyer. She you know slept with I mean? Sawyer. She yes. slept with Sawyer, took off her little hair wrap. She done became <laughs> so, so open now. Don't, don't she wanted to sit here and support. Again. No, because she wanted to support Sawyer, but you can't sit here and support your husband who everybody else sitting here praying for, girl. Nobody don't have time for you, Maggie. And I don't like you in this whole show because you don't do Carson like that because Carson didn't do nothing to you but try to love you and give you everything you need. <laughs> Just because you wanted to switch Maggie. a new house in, in wait, season wait. one does not mean you get to sleep on Carson because wait. you wanted a new house. And Carson <laughs> had just got you that house. Then you're going to see him be ungrateful, Oh, my girl. God. Girl. Miss Jill Marie Jones, I am so sorry. We understand no, no, that this no, is a it's show. Not Jill her name but, is Matt. But I'm just saying, we know that this is a show, but in that moment, we were so hot with you, honey. Honey, what are you thinking? Maggie. What is up with you? So anyway, at the end. What was the purpose of telling him that, giving him the decision, and then you met you the decision to because leave? Because she's selfish. She wanted that to was her heart. So that was selfish. Heartless. That was selfish. I can my heart because dropped what if this when baby? When, oh my god! What if this baby is Carson's and Carson's gonna be a great dad and the baby gonna have a great stepmother, like someone like myself. You know what I mean? You're going to be around here with no man being a, a weekend mother because you wanted to mess it up. And it could still be Carson's on. But you know what? Payback is always something. And Maggie, can't wait to see how this unravels for you. But but, but Carson, I, I'm, I'm really hoping that you do not change into a completely different person after this. I know that hurt changes people a lot of times, especially men. When y'all get hurt or when y'all feel like a woman has hurt you, y'all kind of go way off the deep end when it comes some to men. just um, a lot. Well, some of y'all, but some a lot of y'all. All of y'all. And I truly, and truly hope you. that you do not become that man because I, I would be so will. disappointed because we really love your character. Like, we truly, truly love your character. Like, that's what I'm talking about. A man of substance, a man of character, a man who a vows. Who, who, a, a vows. And thank who you. I'm going to marry you. I'm going to be with you. Ups and downs, bad or worse. He went the he went down to the down. This lady slept around on him. He had to take that. This lady said, "I'm pregnant. It could be yours. It probably can't be yours." He had to go through all of that and stay. decided to stay. And you bro. chose to leave. So now, so now he has, has all, nothing. He has no money, and she gets has everything. everything. So even if he was to go back with um, well, he can't because the girl really like girls. If he wanted to go back to Caroline, Caroline ain't got no money either. So yeah, so both he can't go there. So both of them out, scratched yeah. out. Um, when it comes to the money thing. Or maybe you could go there. Maybe you don't care. You're okay with starting over too. Yeah. Carson going to get hit because Carson is a type. He going to bounce back. And he going to bounce back harder than before. So I'm not worried about Carson. I'm just mad at Maggie <laughs> because Maggie is just so. Maggie. Whatever. Um, so since they're in Dallas, right? So he took everything, which he could be taking that money to. What's her name? Who? Who was he with? Deandra? Deandra. So Deandra may have lost everything to Eddie Winslow. That's fine. That's cool. But because her swap husband. Because Dallas got everything now. It probably ain't the same, but at least he mm-hmm. have a little something for her. Mm-hmm. So when it comes to Connor um, and Deandra, so... No. De- no Deandra, she, Deandra chose to stay. Connor chose to leave. So Connor's girl was which is, was which is um Dallas since Ray since Ray so yeah. Ray gonna be fine because honey that da- uh Connor he wants you Connor Good, Con- since Connor Sarah, wanted since Ray want he really did because you really supported who he is as a man without any yeah. titles yeah you know what I mean girl you're gonna be fine and you were okay you with accepting his past yes understanding that he had a past but he was doing everything in his yes. purpose to change yes. it around yes so yeah. girl, financially you're gonna be fine because Connor got all the money um <laughs> so got all the money I that's what I'm gonna say about this episode this episode was amazing it was quick to the point and end it, and I love that. And they so, they didn't go too they didn't go too deep into what happened yeah. after uh after yeah. Maggie and uh Carson made their decision. They always see, and that's a thing, see, Maggie. Y'all, y'all cliffhanged me because I was shocked. My mouth was dropped. They open. always cliffhanging with the Maggie and, and, and the Carson thing, and this is oh. why I'm very upset because they used Connor <sighs> for season one and using him again for episode two. I mean episode one. So um, but anyway, I'm gonna be I'm ready to see next week, honey. Um, how are we going to do next week, though? We might have to skip it because I'm going away for Thanksgiving. Oh, we'll have to watch it before you leave, honey, because we're not skipping that. <laughs> we're not skipping that at all. Okay. Well, so, it'll be up in time. It'll be up, in, it'll be up That's in true. time. But, okay, so... 
tomorrow. Okay, tomorrow, November 21st is a Thursday, y'all. Yeah, make sure y'all. Season 2, episode 2 of Monogamy on UMC. <sighs> and it's weekend. Will be up, okay? And catch the weekend up. coming up. Catch up. You know, you can watch it It's only it six anytime. episodes. Come on, y'all. Y'all know, y'all know we can binge watch something. And now it's, that episode, one day. and now it's seven episodes total at yes. this point. Now you have so seven episodes to watch if you have not watched this weekend. it. weekend. You got over the holiday before the next one comes yes. out, which is going to be uh, episode 3. So you got enough time. And, by, and that's what, this is what I love about this series because you get to go watch it back at any time you don't have to yeah. wait you don't have to well, I gotta wait for to it go. to come up like no, no no the whole thing it is up there ready morning, for you to watch yeah. that evening whenever you're ready to watch it on Thursdays it's ready for you that's a good yeah. thing there's no time you can watch it when you wake up in the morning you can watch it at the time it goes over at 12 o'clock you just coming home from the club or whatever you're coming home so from I'm gonna keep it real you can watch it I think I'm gonna watch season one over again tonight Cause I think I, I want to make sure I didn't miss nothing. I miss. I think I miss. I feel like I'm missing so certain pieces and certain people's stories. Together. But I need. I need to go back. So I think okay. I'm gonna watch him again. And I might even watch it with Bay and see what he said. He probably gonna tell me, man, why you got me watching this food? <laughs> And Look, I, but I'm I'm watching it, okay. But yeah, so thank you guys for tuning in to our uh, season two episode one review. Hope yes. it wasn't too long. <laughs> um, if you have any comments, make sure you comment below. Chat with us. Find us on social media, on Instagram, on yes. Facebook. We're really on Instagram a lot. And look out for our podcast every week on Wednesday or Thursday. It comes Thursdays. out Thursday on the same day this comes out. Yeah. So we have a weekly podcast. We film it live on Wednesday nights on Instagram Live and also on Facebook Live. Yes. Um, those visuals always come to our YouTube channel. And just don't forget to subscribe to our to, to, to Okay, our subscribe podcast. and hit that notification bell. Yeah, because yeah. when we post, you do not want to miss, miss it. Okay. Thank you. Peace. We're out. <laughs> Adios. Bye. Oh, Maggie. <laughs> Girl. Girl, I'm over her. <laughs> hey, Carson. Call me. <laughs>